Hi friends and welcome back or welcome if you are new. Either way, I'm so excited to have you here on our channel, Daisy Chain Principles. My name is Libby. And today we're gonna to be talking about math lessons for a living education level one. There are a couple really good videos about this math program on YouTube, but there's not a lot of them. I for one love it and I'm planning to use it all the way through sixth grade with both of my kids. That's the highest level available currently. Hoping that Angela O'Dell will continue publishing all the way through high school. I wanted to offer instead of a flip through just an interactive video, me and my son Silas going through it. My son is seven years old. He went through this program last year but he did not pass the test because he really just wasn't ready for place value. It was still really confusing him how to use the ones and tens and hundreds. I really just credit that to simply not being ready. We are taking it again, but we are doubling up and playing catch up through the summer with second grade math with the goal of having him in third grade math by the time we start the 2022-2023 school year, which sounds really crazy that I even need to talk about that year yet. <laughs> I'm just going to show you. Also, there is an optional second curriculum it's the same curriculum, but there's an optional second book that they've written to go alongside each book just because the lessons are so short. They also have one called Practice Makes Perfect, and it's simply additional sheet work to do along with the original lesson. It looks like this. This is the original book. So since he's taking it again, I don't think you always have to use this. It depends. Since he's taking it again, we were really trying to drill those concepts in. I did go ahead and get this. We'll see him doing both sides of a page. I think we did three lessons this day. Enjoy. Yes, yeah, so you're tracing by fives and then you're solving for the unknown. Okay. That's Good job. You got all of them correct. Please make the number 45. Easy. Peasy one minute groups. A four and then five ones. Smarty pants. Perfect job. How many groups of 10? And then how many groups of one? Match the tally mark with the numbers. So you draw a line across to the correct number and then that's fine. You don't need to interrupt me though. And then copy work for counting by twos. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Good job. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Three, four, five, six, three. One. How many dogs? Two. That's an easy one to solve, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'll write your answer. Good. How many TVs are in your house? Oh, that's... Well, let's see, there's one in the living room. I know, I know, I know how many. Okay. Two. Yeah. How many rooms does your house have? Oh my goodness, that's hard. The living room? Living room. Dining room? Dining room. Kitchen, my room. Don't tell me it's eight. Yes, we have eight rooms in our house. Eight rooms in our house. Two. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I knew it. I usually finish my egg. And that is it. I, if you can't tell, my opinion is that school should not be overly difficult for kids. If it is going to instill a belief that learning is difficult, but it's an easy belief to instill if we overdo it. My philosophy for education is that it should be easy for the most part with just a little bit of challenge. Level one or first grade level math falls in line with that for him perfectly right now. So that's what he's doing at seven years old. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below and let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys next time. Bye.